Hi, this is Tammy with Love to Create, and I thought I'd come to you today and do one of the paper pumpkin kits. This one is for February, and it's got some really cute little Valentine bags. I did make some already with my mom and my sister. We kind of got together and, and worked on them. They turned out really cute, so I thought I would make some for my co-workers um, because I'm going to be working tomorrow night, so I'm going to bring those as a special treat. So I've already folded, kind of went ahead and folded some of these just so it would be quicker, but I do have a couple that I'm going to fold and assemble, and then I will assemble these with you. Uh, I am going to do a voiceover for the rest of the video because I'm sure I'll be speeding it up. Otherwise, you'll be watching me forever. So I hope you enjoy the video. So I start out by folding some of the bags, and this is quite a little process, but um, I should have said in my introductory part that Paper Pumpkin is a stamping, stampin' up, subscription box comes once once a month and they have various different little projects in them from cards uh, to little gift gifts like the ones I'm doing today but they are really cute they're usually really cute little projects and all of the pieces like you see there like with the hearts and the banners and even the boxes they're all cut for you, so you just have to pop them off. And everything comes with it, like the adhesives, uh, if there's any kind of string at all that comes with it, and the stamps are also included. So it's a really neat little subscription box, I think, and one I still get. But And they always send a little stamp ink pad that goes with so that you can stamp in a coordinating color. With your first kit that you ever get, you will get a little stamp block. I'm using some of my other ones, not one that came in the kit, but you will get a acrylic block with the first kit. So there I was just showing you some of the stamps that came with the set. And the one I end up using, well, I use two, one is a heart border, and then the other one says, I adore you. And on the sample ones I showed at the beginning, I had used a love one, and I believe a happy Valentine's Day. I'm just using my stamping pad here to get a good image, and then I realize, oh, I don't want to get ink on it. So I'm looking for like a Project Life card that I probably won't use, just in case and put that down. I don't think I end up getting ink on it anyway. But the ink that came with this month was Calypso Coral. So now I'm just stamping all the hearts and then I'll go back and do the Adore You. It was kind of hard to get those centered because of the way I'm like working further from myself than I would normally, and I didn't want to put my big head in the frame, so I couldn't like lean into it. <laughs> but it worked out. They turned out cute, so. So yeah, I will, and I'll put the link below uh, for Paper Pumpkin if anyone is interested in them. And I did do a really cute card that, for Christmas, that I incorporated in my December daily video if you want to check out what that card looked like. But with this kit, you could actually make 24 of these bags, so it was crazy. There's a lot of material packed in this kit. And then it always comes with a really nice instruction booklet with pictures and everything. And I didn't look at it very good because I first start off putting the wrong heart on there and then I was like oh wrong one and put it back and these little arrows turned out so cute 
And the nice thing is too, like the bags, I'm going to definitely make sure I keep one of the bags so I can use it to make one out of like regular cardstock. So it'll be like my template. I've sped this up quite a bit. It's like at four times speed, but I'm going to make 10 of these. And I noticed right then that I'm putting that on backwards. But it's really kind of easy. They're easy to assemble and super cute. And I love the holidays. I love doing little seasonal um, projects and giving little gifts out. It's always fun. So Paper Pumpkin is like right up my alley. They have really good products. And I'm going to end up stuffing these. You could put anything in them. Um, I end up using some little conversation hearts from, uh, I think it's Sweetheart Candies. I think I show the bag later on. Uh, and put them in little sandwich bags. I actually, they have, I know they have smaller sandwich bags that are like snack bags. And those would have been the perfect size because there's not a whole lot of room in those little bags but I did fit a few in each one and I didn't want to just throw them in I wanted them to be uh, in like a food safe bag or something but I'm going to bring the extra bag to where or what's left over so that everybody can eat those too so now I'm starting to do these cute little vellum banners and like I said those came on one sheet and I just had to uh, punch them out and then I think originally on the instructions you were supposed to adhere to the whole banner so you would have put like two of those little adhesive dots down at the bottom too but I kind of liked the idea of having the bottom kind of not attached so and yes I had these little dots like everywhere I have a love hate relationship with these dots I love them because they're awesome but sometimes they're hard to get off and then I have little dots all over so I'm just going to go through these attach them to the top I had the hardest time getting a hold getting a hold of the paper on my pad. So I was like fighting with some of those little banners to pick them up. And I end up making, I made 10 of the little bags. So I keep counting here and there to make sure that I'm getting enough. And so the next part calls for, um, you put those oh, I'm drawing a blank right now but foam dots you put the foam dots so it gives it dimension and there's three on every heart and those foam dots uh, provide a like dual purpose I'm going to end up using a gold string for accent and those dots are adhesive for the string so it holds it on the back and then it also adheres the heart to that banner. And so right now I'm trying to make like a little messy string and put on the back there. And I realize after I get it in my hand that I probably should have taken the little backing off the adhesive dots before because that was kind of hard to do with one hand. And I did use my tiny attacher on the first bag, but I'm like, oh, I really don't need that. So then I do not end up using it with the rest of the bags. And I believe the instructions called for you to do that with those adhesive dots, um, adhering the banner to the bag. But I just used my tape gun because it was easier. So you actually do have plenty of dots to use for that part. 
like I said, everything you need is actually in the kit. So it's really nice. So then I decide to do it like assembly line. And just get all the banners put on. And then I will put all my hearts on. And at some point, I don't remember if it's this part or not. My camera goes dead, so it'll skip ahead a little bit. But And they sent plenty of string, because I actually have of that gold string. It is so cute, too, so I could see using that on a lot of products. But in the kit, it calls for like 12 inches, and I just kind of eyeballed it. And I start getting sloppy towards the end and kind of wind it up in a knot. I did want to make sure all the, like, I didn't want any ends poking out, so I did make sure the ends were secured to the adhesive. And then I started using a tweezer, because it's always easier to get those off. And I know there's so, a, a lot of different videos on alternative things you can do with these paper pumpkin kits, too. I just sometimes have a hard time thinking outside of the box and just want to follow directions and make it. <laughs> and they're super cute, so. All right, so here is where I show, yeah, they were the sweetheart conversation hearts and I'm just finishing up here I have a little problem you'll see this like arrow go flying off <laughs> because I think I have the bag stuffed too much and those little hearts are not gonna hold see Ding. <laughs> so I end up using my tape gun um, to adhere those down so it'll actually stay down and I kind of bent up my little banner when I was doing that and had to tape that down but and also I'm sorry I do a few of these out of frame before I realize that I'm out of frame and fix it and then of course I realize after putting the second arrow in that my other arrow is a different direction and so I have to fix that Every one of them have to be the same. And at one point, I end up breaking the adhesive in my uh, tape gun. And I had to fix that. But I believe I cut that part out. And then it seemed to be holding fine. I think I just had too much in there. The sandwich bags were a little bulky too. Like I said, it would be much better to do it with like those little snack bags because those are like the perfect size. So I'm just finishing up here. I think right up Right in here somewhere is where I break that. Yep, right here. So I had to get new tape on there. But anyway, it was a pretty easy project. It was fun to do. Um, and it'll be fun to take to work tomorrow night. Right, so there is all 10 of them done. I hope you like the project. I'll put a link to Paper Pumpkin below. And here's a close-up. Thanks for watching, everyone. Happy crafting.